Hey, this is Sam from Sure. A happy holidays from everybody at Sure Incorporated to you. I figured because the holidays are upon us, we would cover a workbench tutorial that's related in some way to holiday lights. And I can think of no better topic to cover than uh, the identifying or the flashing of devices in Wireless Workbench 6. So as many of you know, if you've used Workbench before, it's a great way to manage a lot of your Sure networked systems, all from one workstation on a computer. And, uh, you know, a lot of interfaces that we build into the application are all built to simulate or connect the world that you're seeing virtually in your computer with the physical world of your devices outside. One really helpful tool to make sure that you're going to be interacting with a device in the software that corresponds to the appropriate device in the physical world is by using this feature called Flash or Identify. And basically what you can do is from the software take a particular device and send a command to the physical device and its front panel flashes. If you're familiar with Sure devices, you've probably seen this before. It's my personal favorite part of deploying frequencies to Sure gear. Um, and I want to show you there's a lot of different ways that you can flash or identify devices from Workbench. That's what we're going to go through today. So I'm in the inventory view and I have a lot of Sure devices here. And uh, you'll notice that on the left hand side, um, there are icons that show a bunch of different states and statuses for each one of my channels and devices. Uh, the first one I want to call out are these device icons here. These device icons are representative of the type of device that we're looking at. So this is an icon for Axiom Digital, uh, this is an icon for a QLXD or a ULXD, so on and so forth. And if you hover over one of those icons, it'll actually give you a little tooltip uh, that says flash device, or it should give you a tooltip. Uh, oh, there we go. When I click the icon, that actually sends a flashing command to the device. And, uh, well, you can't see from my screenshot, but what's happening to the front panel of this device is all the LEDs in the screen are blinking. So this would be a great way for me to say, you know, um, I've got a rack of four however many devices, and I really want to edit parameters for the top chassis in that rack. Is this the device? I can click flash and make sure that that one flashes. Oh, no, that's not the right one. This is the one. Click to flash. Oh, there we go. And then when I see the right device flashing, I can confirm that what I'm looking at in Workbench is the same physical device in the real world. So this ability to flash device by device is a really convenient uh, tool from the inventory, and all of that is handled just by clicking the icon. Now, I know that's a little bit secretive um, or maybe difficult to discover, so if you right-click on any um, channel or device, uh, this flash command is the first option in the right hand uh, in the uh, context menu. And by selecting that, that sends the exact same command out. Now there may be times when you just want to make sure you've discovered all of the devices in a particular rack. So it isn't that you want to flash one device or another, but you want to send the flash command to all of your devices. This is a really helpful way to discover if one of one or more of your systems have not been discovered by Workbench. You can send a, a command for everybody to flash, and if anybody doesn't flash, you'll know that Wireless Workbench hasn't made a connection with that device. So we put this button down below called Flash All Devices, and when I click, you guessed it, we got a Christmas tree show going on here, lights ablazing. All of the rack devices are flashing. So this is a great way to confirm that I've discovered in Wireless Workbench all the gear that's in my rack. That's a pretty helpful feature. Um, and we've tucked a lot of flash controls for different scopes of devices as well. You'll notice that my uh, inventory is organized right now by device type. So my microphones are organized here, and my in-ear monitors and other things are organized here. If I right-click on any one of these headers, in fact, I can send flash commands to just all of my IEMs in this case, or just all of my networked chargers. This is another helpful way to just identify certain batches of devices. The last set of flash functionality I want to talk about uh, lives in the monitor view. Uh, similarly, when you right-click on a channel strip for a particular channel or device, you get the ability to flash that device. And I did want to showcase one other thing. This is a new properties panel that lays out all of the... Uh, parameters for this particular channel of an Axiom digital system. But when I open this panel, besides being able to navigate and view all the properties of the system, I can actually right click within the properties panel and send an identify command to either the channel or the device. So in this particular case, this is a feature of Axiom Digital that's a little bit new and has it has the abil ability to localize flashing for one channel or for the entire device. This is a capability that's only there for some of our systems now, uh, but our intent is to roll it out in the future, so you get this granularity if you, find, if you want to find just one particular channel.